2017 was packed full of great magic, so much good stuff, but now we're gonna check out my top 10 list of favorites from this year. Kick back, relax, let's do this. Up first on this list is Chinese tweezers from Mario Lopez. This is so good, it is so different, so original. You take some tweezers and you pluck coins from the hole in a Chinese coin. It looks sick, it's crazy, it's different, just like Mario Lopez, the magician that created it. I can't wait to see what it comes out with in 2018. This one had to make my list, because I know when it first came out, it took the magic world by storm, and for good reason. You guys know I love the books, and that's why number two on my list is Memorandum by Woody Aragon. If you've ever wanted to do the memorized deck, if you want to do that type of work, if you're intimidated or you don't have the time to put in, this is the way to do it. This is the system that you'll be memorizing a deck in no time with. And of course, it's a list. How can I not put a book on here? So that's what you want to do. Memorize deck work. Now you can do it. Very easy. Check it out. Memorandum number two. Oxbender from Mr. Mini Linenfields up number three on my list. This is the world's first one-handed coin bin. That's right. You can bend a signed coin with just one hand. It's also what a lot of people consider to be the easiest coin bin. Physically, you're able to bend the coin very, very easily with this device. Patrick Coons used it on TV multiple times. It's so easy and practical. If you've ever wanted to do a coin bin, but you've been intimidated or you don't think you can do it, this is the one, the bend is covered as well. The misdirection is brilliant. This is great. Mini Linenfield is great. And that is number three on my list. Check out Oxbender. Number four on my list is the Real Man's Wallet. Now this was not released in 2017, but it was re-released and updated both in packaging and with the teaching by Gregory Wilson, who we all love and adore his work and teaching. He's just great. When people ask me, Luke, if I want to do a signed card to wallet routine, what do I get? This is what you get. It's only 40 bucks, and I'm telling you the price, not to sell you on it, but so you know it is within your grasp. It's made out of real leather, and it's a billfold wallet, so it's very small. You can put it in your pocket, and you're good to go. Gregory Wilson also teaches things without a deck of cards. Grab the wallet, put it in your pocket, and now you can do magic at a moment's notice. That's why number four is the real man's wallet on my list. Up next at number five is the Vanishing Pin, or Sharpie version, from Sans Minds Magic. Now, this was released this year. A lot of people love this because of how easy and practical it is. You know, if you haven't seen it yet, you take the pin, you put it inside of a folded uh, napkin, you take your hands on both sides of the pin and you smash your hands together and the pin vanishes, reach in your pocket or turn around and you show the pin has now appeared somewhere else. You can do a signed card routine. Now you can make the pin that they sign the card with vanish as well. Very clever stuff, very practical, and it definitely had to make my list because I'm always looking for good workers as well. And that's exactly what this is. Number five, Vanishing Pen. Up next at number six, Juan Tamaris joins the list with Magic From My Heart. This was his release that we've all been waiting for for a very long time because it's a full collection of magic from him. It's stuff that he's released before. It's stuff that he released but put new routines and touches on. And it's also brand new unpublished stuff that, gotta be honest, he's probably fooled you with at some of the magic conventions you may have seen him at. This is great stuff and there's also more than just tricks on here. There's thoughts, there's theory, and I believe myself that's where the real magic lies. So that is that. That's number six on my list. Magic from my heart from Juan Tamaris, the living legend. I'm not saying anything else. It's just good. At number seven, Shin Lin joins the list with 52 Shades of Red V3. God, I mean, Shin is all over the world performing. He's on TV, he's fooling Penn & Teller. He actually used some of this to fool Penn & Teller with too. This is so good. You see the trailer, you see these visual moments, and you think there's no way, but there is a way when you learn it from this project. This is great stuff. I love Shin Lim, I love his magic, and there's a reason why people have been using a lot of his stuff. Whether you're gonna do magic online, in video form, or in person, this is visual stuff that people are gonna look at and go, there's just no way. And that's why it's number seven on my top 10 list right here. Eight. Eight is my favorite number, and The Gift by Angelo Carbone is one of my favorites from this list. God, this thing's brilliant. There's a reason why people like Darren Brown have given quotes for this and how good it is. The method is brilliant. Uh, the way that it, it works is so practical and easy to do, and it's also gonna fool the crap out of magicians if you wanna do that too. I, I love this thing, it's great. The method is great, and when you see stuff like this from Angelo Carbone, you wonder how the hell does he come up with this stuff? And that's why the gift is right here at number eight on the top 10 list. Up at number nine is another living legend joining the list. That is Max Maven. He Fabe was released this year, and minimalism got a big boost. People have always been asking me, Luke, I want to learn minimalism. Who are some of the best people? He is one of the best, and he's considered the best by his peers. This is great stuff. A lot like the Tamarese Project, this has early works, has newer stuff, and good theory and thoughts in there too. Living legends, dropping knowledge is something we should all pay attention to, and that is why Keyfabe is right here at number nine on my list. 
you got to know about this one. It's good stuff from one of the best guys in our industry. Listen, learn, get better. It's as easy as that. Joining my list right here, number 10. Rounding the list up is Tarantula 2 by Egal Masika. This has only been seven years in the making, that's all. This is great, a huge update to the original Tarantula, which was a smash hit by itself. This now has a rechargeable battery. It's got the USB plug. It's like your James Bond now, it's freaking awesome. It's got a totally silent motor, there's none of that buzz and stuff. And look, I know the thread will break, but don't worry, I've played with this, fixing it, putting it back, it's all easy. You'll be doing this stuff in no time. You grab this thing, this device, you drop it in your pocket, and you are literally ready anytime you want to destroy people with some of this stuff. Easily one of my favorites from this year as well. It's well worth the wait. Hope you guys enjoy the list as well. I've found some great stuff. I know there's a lot more out there, but Egal Masika, you had to get in there at number 10 because Tarantula 2 is freaking awesome. That's it for me and my friends. I hope you enjoyed this top 10 list of favorites from this year. If you have some of your own favorites that didn't make my list, drop them below in the comment section and let me know. Maybe there's something I missed. Maybe there's something I should know about. And to sweeten it up, here's what I'm gonna do for you guys. For all of you out there that post your favorite releases from this year, I'll pick one of you at random to choose five tricks from the Murphy's website under a holiday category. We've got a whole list of great things that make good stocking stuffers. One of you out there will get to choose five of your favorites from that list, and you never know, you may get hooked up with some free magic from us. It's that easy. All right, my friends, my name is Luke Dancy. I've given you all I got. I hope you enjoyed this top 10 list of favorites, maybe a little blast from the past here. And you know what? 2018 is right around the corner. I can't wait to see what's coming out. I already know there's some good stuff coming down the pipe. I can't tell you about just yet, but you will be seeing it sooner than later. I promise you that. Happy holidays. Happy New Year. Thanks for all your support over the last year as well. From me to you. Thanks, guys. Can't wait to see all of you in 2018. And maybe we'll run into each other at a magic convention or something. You never know. That's it. Get out of here. Enjoy your holidays. Have some fun. Play with your magic. Learn some new stuff. That's all I Get out of here. Happy New Year! Happy New Year!